Big Connect! Wagwan sisters, what's up with the cap? It's none of your business! I'm joking. The hair's not ripe yet, so we're going to have to keep it under wraps for the meantime. So today we are down for another exciting episode, groundbreaking episode of Sick Fits. Last week I asked to ask and ask you guys to send me your Converse outfits and you guys did not disappoint. So today I picked my top five favourite outfits out of all of the submissions. And if you're sitting there vaguely interested in how to submit into Sick Fits, all you have to do is send an email to sickfits at outlook.com. In the title of the email, give me your Instagram handle. In the body of the email, give me a full body, high quality picture of your outfit. And of course, leave me some details of your outfit. What shirt, what trousers, what shoes are you wearing? Press the send button and you're done. But wait, there's more. Sick Fits has an Instagram page now. If you want to get featured on the Instagram page for Sick Fits, just tag Sick Fits in any of your pictures. And I try to put an outfit on there every single day. So yes, today I asked you guys to send me your fire converse outfits i just wanted to see what people can do with this brand it's not sponsored by converse by the way although that would be nice i just thought it'd be a really cool theme so without further ado let's jump into the first outfit of the day the first outfit of the day is brought to us by man like eric and my man is wearing a forever 21 mountain dew t-shirt a belt that was salvaged from an old life jacket some thrifted trousers and the Converse Gov Le Fleur green and purple colorway. Mad. Let's talk about this outfit. First thing that brought my attention to this outfit and made it really stand out for me was the composition as a whole. It's the stuff that's in between the lines. So we've got the green hair, he's holding a cap. That is a big up field or back garden in the I was gonna say in the background, back garden in the background. But as you can tell, there is a very green theme going on here. This is some nature wave that we all need to be jumping on to be perfectly honest. Moving on to the actual outfit. First thing when I think of when I actually look at it is E-Boy in a good way. I think that my man has done an excellent job with dyeing his hair there. And of course, my man has matched his hair with his t-shirt. We've got the green on green. The background is green. There's green on the converses. The only thing that is not green in this picture is this cat and that can be easily fixed. I like the stripy top, I think it really fits in with this outfit, especially when green is the main color. It's not too overpowering. I mean, there's like green and white stripes there. Tactical, it breaks it up a little bit. It's not too in your face. And of course, the t-shirt is tucked into the trousers. Long belts are still making an appearance as a trend. I think the off-white belts are a bit so-so, but long belts in general still get the okay from me. We've also got some thrifted chino beige trousers, and I think these slap the hardest. Baggy trousers have never been bigger you see what I did there I think it makes the outfit a little bit more casual a little bit more on trend it kind of gives it that 90s vintage aesthetic so it just bangs we've also got some silver accessories there as well on the thrift trousers on the neck accessories play a very subtle but intricate part in outfits I think they're highly underrated, not talked about enough, but the use of accessories in this outfit is so sick. And of course, on foot, we've got the purple and green Converse Gold Le Fleurs, and this is the perfect way to finish off this outfit. All of these pieces complement each other. You've got the hair and t-shirt combination, very, very nice. Smarten up the t-shirt by tucking it into the trousers, having some baggy trousers to give this outfit more of a relaxed tone. The Converse Gold Le Fleurs, complementing the color scheme, green, purple, go well together. The bagginess of these trousers and how they sit with the shoes, so sick. All together a banging outfit, undeniably a very strong start to the sick fits game. Thank you for sending in your fit. Moving on to the next outfit. What is with these hands? Hello. So the second outfit of the day is brought to us by Oscar and my man is wearing thrifted sunglasses, a vintage best company collared sweatshirt, thrifted trousers and Converse golf lift fleurs. Let's talk about this outfit. First thing that I like about this outfit is you've got this kind of trendy preppy look going on. Right from the get go, you've got a collar, trousers, which means my man is down for business. I'd say this outfit has somewhat of a tongue in cheek element to it, much like Tyler the Creator back in his golf wang days, like bright color blocking, making it look smart. So kind of offsetting that whole casual smart look, but at the same time, because of the color palette and because of how they're blocked, they kind of look vintage as well. Love the sunglasses, the clout goggles, 110% a must have accessory. It adds a little bit of tongue in cheek, somewhat showing you that this outfit isn't meant to be taken like 
like super literally in the sense that I am a super serious person. I think these sunglasses are super fun and they do an excellent job of covering the eye area. Bruh, am I running out of things to say? I'm absolutely in love with this sweatshirt, by the way. I just love how it sits. I love the palette of the yellow. It's really nice and vibrant, but it's not too overpowering. There's a nice little subtle graphic in the center there as well, which I'm all about. Symmetry is key. And it's got a collar in it as well, so it's like built-in smartness. The sweatshirt goes really well with the trousers. I think they complement each other really well. The trousers themselves, I would say, is like quite a weird color. Like, they kind of gray, but like beige at the same time. I think this sweatshirt and trousers combination goes well. However, on foot, the Converse Goffle Fleurs really tie this outfit together. They really set the tone, I find. They're pink and blue, block them in with the yellow. The actual look of the outfit kind of reminds me of like, 80s math teacher but like a super swaggy one that lets everyone go home early my guy's done an excellent job so thank you for sending in your outfit moving on to the third outfit of the day so the third outfit of the day is brought to us by lloyd and my man is wearing a fisherman's beanie a reebok atlanta falcons t-shirt a heli hansen belt the slim fit dickies and the converse chuck 70s let's talk about this outfit first thing that i like about this outfit it's got a very very traditional look to it it's got the fisherman's beanie the t-shirt with a big graphic on it the slim trousers and of course the chucks this in my personal opinion is a very go-to outfit in a sense that it's very very street ready you can wear it to a number of places it just fits in and i love it for that i love the subtle details you've got the graphic on the gray t-shirt You've got the wallet chain, the watch, the hat, it all goes well together. The t-shirt tucked into the slim trousers just gives this outfit a little bit of needed form. The Heli Hansen belt just giving it a little bit of flex as well, you know, Heli for life, you done though. The slim trousers flow really well into the chucks. They really complement each other here. And the chucks themselves are really classic silhouette, one that is universally instantly recognizable. Altogether, I would call this outfit a classic fit, one that is very timeless and can have an infinite amount of variations. I think this variation is solid. I love vintage Reebok tees in general and this one just slaps for me. I love the idea of slim trousers coming back. Essentially, I think this is where the Converse's live. My guy did an excellent job here, so thank you for sending in your outfit. Moving on to the fourth outfit of the day. So the fourth outfit is brought to us by M Sneeze. Fam, my man is wearing a vintage Hard Rock Cafe sweatshirt, H&M trousers, and the Converse's. Let's talk about this outfit. First thing that I like about this outfit, the composition of the picture. My man is sitting in the alcohol section of a store because this outfit is too much fire and needs to cool down. I like this outfit more because everything just fits well together. Everything complements each other, the hair, what is that hair? Curtains. When it's done right, it is a classic hairstyle that just adds a level of elegance to any outfit. I'm in love with this Hard Rock Calf sweatshirt, the color blocking, you've got blue, you've got green, burgundy on the cuff and collars, which also complements the background. You've got the Budweiser, the Heineken, the Bud Light. Is that Bud Light? We've also got the slim trousers here, the white socks and the Converse's low tops. It's an effortless outfit that has a lot of style, it oozes style. My two favorite things about this outfit has to be the hair and sweatshirt combination. The whole top end is just such a homage to vintage. And of course, the bottom end, you've got the slim trousers and the low top Converse's, a timeless combination. This outfit bangs, this outfit slaps. This outfit looks like a lot of fun. Absolutely sick of, so thank you for sending in your outfit. But wait. Before we move on to the last outfit of the day, I just want to throw in some honorable mentions. Every time I ask for submissions to Sick Fits, you guys deliver in droves. So I just want to give you guys a big, massive thank you for submitting every single time. But enough of the waffle, with all of that out of the way, let's jump into the honorable mentions. And those were the honorable mentions. Let's move on to the last outfit of the day. So the last outfit of the day is brought to us by Joey. 
and my man is wearing a thrifted beanie, an Alix Studio t-shirt, a self-made needles inspired shirt, thrifted cargoes, thrifted jewelry including Tiffany and Co chain, cheese, and the, and forgive me, Para Bonanza Converses. Let's talk about this outfit. The first thing that I like about this outfit is that it is very on trend. The first thing that drew my attention to this outfit was the needles inspired shirt. Anything that's got that whole split shirt combination, I immediately like. I just think it's a super sick idea, especially when a needle shirt is like anywhere between two to 400 pounds, you can just make one yourself. So I respect anyone that actually does. Joey has done an excellent job with his needle shirt. The colors complement each other really well within the shirt. And the way that he styled that with the t-shirt as well, you've got that big graphic in the middle there, subtle flex. You could easily see this whole outfit on an Essence blog post, it's already doing up bits. Now on the bottom end of this outfit we've got some thrifted cargoes and these converses have definitely got to be the most unique converses that I've seen in a while. I think the crazy designs in the converse complement the needle shirt. You've got to match loud with loud and the cargo bottom is just flow really nicely. It also fits in theme with this needle shirt as well, giving it like a luxury casual aesthetic to it. In my personal opinion, this outfit bangs on a number of levels. I think the outfit as a whole is loud, but it's coordinated. There's definitely an influence in designer fashion in this outfit, which is a really interesting take on the Converse because most of these outfits go in all kinds of different directions, but mainly vintage. So I think a high fashion inspired tone is really interesting to pair with these converses even the converses themselves aren't normal converses they're not even golf lefleurs they're more designer which adds to the tone which i think joey was going for all together a really wavy outfit so thank you joey for sending in your outfit and that ladies and gentlemen was the converse edition of sick fits Again, a big massive thank you to everyone who submits into Sig Fits. Let me know in the comment section which one of these outfits was your favourite. Let me know how you would personally style the Converse's because I would like to know. Can we get some Fs in the chat? But wait, doing your end bumper, what's the next theme for Sig Fits? Well, I'm glad you asked because we've done Converse's, now it's time to do Vans. Yes, we're doing Vans. It doesn't matter what kind of Vans it is. It can be the slip-ons, the authentics, the old schools, the skate highs, or anything in between. Dust off your old Vans. Let's get some sick fits. If you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, then please consider pressing that subscribe button and pressing the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching this installment of Sick Fits. Make sure to follow the Instagram page. Bye.